All right, here we are with the battle versus Trog, and we see oh, okay, yeah, that's a uh, that's a lot of stuff, huh? So we got Cloyster, we see uh, Agron, we see Regieleki, which I have some stuff for. See Scorch, we see Whimsy, and we see the Zatu. Okay, so the problem with Zatu is it stops us from just hard going for uh. Uh, what's it called? Stopped us from hard going for the fucking uh, hazards, which is unfortunate because I do like me some hazards. Uh, let me just double check what this set was. I have forgotten. <laughs> oh, I'm unburdened, not sticky hold. Yikes. Um, yeah. Okay, well, it still pressures in pretty nice offensively. Um, do I want to just lead with Grapple Locked? Grapple Locked might be a good... I think Grapple Locked is the... The designated lead here just because it stops Agron and lets me see if he's balloon or something because Lanoon runs through this man's team if he's not like balloon or shuka Agron. He could also be Sash Cloister, which will be nice to deal with. If he is if he if he leads Zatu, I'll probably just go hard into uh Selgor. Hard of Selgor or something. I don't know man. Grapple Locked can also stop a Cloister Sweep at the just from turn one, which is nice. Uh, we do have Grassy Glide, and we do also have Extreme Speed, so hopefully that won't happen. We have double Extreme Speed, actually. But have fun to Trog. We see no Persian. We see no Toxicroak. We see no Dusknor, no Flagon. You love to see it. D4C, we do, in fact, see that motherfucking Aggron. Cool. So he wants to get up rocks. He does not have a, uh, a Ghost type. I'm clicking Circle Throw. I don't give a heck. If he wants to get up rocks, he can. He's going to take a fuckload of damage, dude. And this is what we want in versus this, because uh, I don't have anything else that takes a hit. So if he does just want to go for, like, banded fucking... Uh, whatever move, banded, like, heavy slam or banded fucking head smash, we'll take it, you know? He does withdraw. Does he go hard into Zatu? He does go hard Zatu. Let's hit this man with a technician boosted circle throw. Yeah. Yeet. Get on out of here. And we see Scent Scorch. Fuck. <laughs> we do see Scent Scorch. Um, I have liquidation for this thing. I'm going to click it. Uh, so Zatu is at about 90%. Considering that was a times 4 resist, that was some pretty good damage, huh? Um, I brought Grapple Locked because I did not have a switch in to uh, this very thing right here, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we should take the next one, too. That is a 2 at KO. Fuck you! Man! You goddamn rat, Trog. <laughs> How fucking dare you, dude? Um, do I have to go for it again? Do I have to go for it again? I think I have to go for it again, dude. Well, I, like I said, I can't switch into this. Um, nothing on my team wants to take a fire hit. I just need to get this thing whittled down as low as possible. I'm just going to hit it with another liquidation. He does just click Fire Lash again. Which does significantly more this time. But hopefully the second liquidation will put him in range of something else on my team. Uh, yep, this seems to be about in range. Imagine getting fucking Defense Fell. Yeah, that matters. Imagine getting uh, the immediate burn, dude. Uh, I'm going to throw off a Circle Throw this time. But he's just going to kill me, I imagine. Grapple Locked. Oh, just for leech life. That's smart. Get a little bit of health back. Grapple Locked is killed by Sinti. Makes sense, but it did its job, dude. It kept rocks off the field, got a little bit of chip on Zatu, and it was able to put this in range of anything else on our team. So, um, do I want to go into Gucci and just click Water Pulse here? I do kind of like that, because we can set up screens versus Agron. So let's go out into Gucci. I should have speed for this thing. Uh, I want to get this thing in before rocks come up, which can happen now, because I don't have a switch in or a anything to punish Agron. But at least we'll get Hail Chip on stuff. Um, getting Veil up is really nice for things and stuff, too. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Fuck, I was going to say, I don't know if I want to click... Uh, I'm just going to click Water Pulse, because I doubt fucking Freeze Dry does enough. But Water Pulse should kill this thing. Like it. 
So Cinder Scorch goes down to Vanillux. He'd love to see it. Uh, he can. I assume he would want to go Aggron here. If he goes Aggron, I get up my Veil and I go for Water Pulse on the next turn. And then I'll probably just explode, honestly. We are also the uh, Mental Herb. So if he does want to go into Whimsicott, he does go Whimsicott. Okay, so here's what we do, right? <laughs> here's here's what we do. We're Mental Herb. If he wants to taunt me, if he wants to Encore me, do whatever. Not today, sir. Not today. Not today, sir. Not to fucking day. You want to fucking come in here and do your little fucking clap with Whimsicott? Not today, sir. Veil is up. Get fucking veiled, dude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, you just love to see it, dude. You just love to see it. So we can go out into our... Uh... Do we go out into Pointing Meme? What do I want to go into? I don't really have anything that kills this directly. He can Encore me now. Uh, he probably just attacks knowing that I can't fucking do anything to him. But um, just in case he does want to do that. At least we're able to get this up the first time. You know, he can't do anything to me. He goes for sub. Okay, bro, I got bug buzz. I got bug buzz. I'm behind Veil. We're all taking chip. We'll just fucking... Bro, we're in here chip skylarking together, dude. We're in here as a team, boy. So, um, I'm assuming he's just wanna... He's probably gonna go hard into the... Uh, the what's it called? The Zatu? He doesn't. He just lets me kill this. Or gets damage on this. It's fine. That's damage. That's damage. I tell you what. There's Moonblast. Don't. Okay, no split F drop. You love to see it. Um, yeah, dude, this is this is what the set was here for. Get up Veil. Vale, make sure he's not able to do anything to us, and then, uh, you know, potentially get some. Uh... I'm just gonna bug buzz. I'm really tempted to go for spikes there, but I don't want him to go hard into into Zatu and just fucking and just nay nay all over my general vicinity. General vicinity. But having Whipscott gone is amazing for Thwacky and, and uh, oh, he does withdraw. Cool. He goes into Speedwagon, which is the Reggie Alecky. We go for Bug Buzz. That does a lot, and he can't kill us because of the Veil. So I can throw off a Spike if I want. I really am tempted to, but I'm just going to Bug Buzz again. Um, if he gets up a screen here, that's unfortunate, but he's only getting one. We still got Veil up, and I actually have investment on this to live a, uh, a hit from full. So as long as I'm above half, I should live a hit being behind the Veil. So when was it got? Was that what? Fucking 20%? 20-ish? Oh, it goes for Wild Charge. Okay, so turns out we don't live a hit if he's physical. Fun. <laughs> As Elgor goes down to uh, Reggie. And the Veil wears off, which is unfortunate. But... Um, I think we, I think we go thwacky here, dude. I think we go big thwack. I think we go big thwack. He does have Zatu that can uh, revenge us. But I'm going to do a chunk to that thing, you know? I'm going to do a big chunker. Um... Yeah, I'm clicking SD. I can also click sub. Mm, I can also just glide. I'm going to click SD. Wimshikot said should die to the, uh, the thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn it. Now, he's faster than me, so his Encore will go faster than my thing right so what i'm getting at here is this was a bad play if i'm not mistaken this i should have just attacked i could have just gone hard for the acro too like assuming he would switch out now the question is he's shown encore do i just attack and say fuck it um what's my switch in? i don't really have a good switch into this anymore i guess i have vanilla Lux. um i'm gonna try just i'm gonna just try just in case he does go for Moonblast. You love to see it, dude. 
you love to see it special attack and drop all at once dude like i said killing this thing is absolutely amazing for the everything else in the team so uh i had to hope that he would over predict there and he did so cool so whimsicott dies to thwacky and now if he wants to bring in zatu uh he's gonna take a chunk uh, if he wants to bring in Agron, he will take a, a chunk. Uh, I'm assuming Zatu comes in here because I could easily have a uh, Drain Punch for the Agron. I'm also plus one defense, so I think he would have to kill me with, uh, with Zatu. D4C. There's the Agron. Okay. Putting this thing in range of uh, Linoon is also amazing. Just throwing that out there. Amazing. Holy shit damage. Holy shit damage. Okay. Okay. Um, damage. We motherfucking take damage. I guess maybe he's weakness policy and he thought that I would click drain punch or something. That's the only thing I can assume because that is offensive damage. I don't have the calc pulled up or anything, dude, so don't trust me on this, but I'm pretty sure that's offensive aggro and damage. Um, but we absolutely decimate something here. Um, if Zatu comes in, if it's not defensive, he might die to two, to two grassy glides, dude. I don't know. He does withdraw. <laughs> Pillar bird. Die to two, baby. Die to two. That's all I ask. Die to two. Yeah, he doesn't die to two. But we get some more recovery. Uh, terrain actually might end. He's got lefties. Um, I think I just glide again. I could also... Uh, I could acro. I think I just glide, man. Do I just glide? Is everything on his team in range of Lanoon now? I think I just grassy glide. Because he doesn't know that I do not have knockoff. Simple beam? <laughs> Dude, I'm simple. Oh, no. <laughs> the alfalfa for the rabbits. The rabbits. And I get the tender rabbits. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh, God. I'm so simple now. Um. Okay, so. We were talking about bringing heat. I didn't know this man was talking fire, dude. You know, I didn't know he was talking about heat, heat, you know? Uh, now I just throw off an acro. I assume he's going to just kill me. Oh, he must have went for, like, a roar or something. Um, okay. A whirlwind, I guess. Zatu dies to Thwacky. He's got Reggie Lecky, he's got Agron, he's got Cloyster in the back. I should outspeed Cloyster. I should outspeed Agron, and Reggie Lucky can probably not kill us because we're plus one. You love to see it. And <laughs> I know, dude, I've tried to bring this set a bunch of times, but it did have a really good matchup here. And I think that that turn where he didn't click Encore uh, might just have won us the game here, you know? Um, I would like to sweep with Lanoon here in the end, but if Thwacky wants to do the thing, he can do the thing, dude. There's Cloyster. If he wants to hit us with an Ice Shard, he can. Uh, I'm just going to click Grassy Glide. Actually, Ice Shard might not kill us. He does go for Ice Shard. There's Glide. So, he isn't Sash. It just didn't kill. <laughs> He isn't Sash. It just didn't kill. We'll click Glide again and we'll let this go down. He does go for that Ice Shard. So Thwacky goes down to Cloyster. So we got Lanoon. We got Vanillux. And we got Zydog. I think we just go into Zydog and we just clean up at this point. Because we got Extreme Speed. Um, fun fact, I'm Chillonberry in this because uh, I was really fearing his uh, Hyper Beam Regieleki. <laughs> so we just go free speed. And Pupper takes out Cloyster. So he's got Agron and Regieleki left. Regieleki should easily be in range. Wait, okay, if Regieleki comes out, 
Do I want to show off the tech? Can I live in explosion? Dude, I don't know if I can live in explosion. He might be banded too. Uh, he might be banded. Oh, I want to show off the tech though. Okay, I'll calc, dude. Just for the sake of the fucking thing, I'll calc. Okay, we just see Egron. Regilecki, if he's like screens lead at level 50. Uh, we just easily click thousand arrows. I assume he's going to be weakness policy. He could also be Shuka. I doubt that this doesn't kill even if he's Shuka. Um... Choice banded. Okay, if he's choice banded, explosion might not kill us. So, just to see it happen, I'm clicking Dragon Dance. Just to see it happen, dude, I'm clicking Dragon Dance. He does explode. He does explode. You're welcome, Trog. You're fucking welcome. I let it happen. Get the berry. Yes. Just chill on in Grand Rapids, baby. We just chill on in Grand Rapids. You love to see it, dude. Okay, that's why... Okay, so we missed out on getting a kill with Pupper here, but just for the memes, dude, I had to fucking... <laughs> uh, just for the memes, I had to... Uh... I had to see if we lived. So he wasn't banded. That was amazing. But we do live the fucking explosion because of our chill on berry. You love to see it, dude. What a fucking wacky, what a wacky thwacky game, dude. Oh my god. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I can, if I had to guess, I think his Zatu set was a little bit more heat than, like, what I thought it would be. You know, because, like, looking at his team, dude, that's the only thing he had that didn't lose to thwacky, other than, like, encoring it and shit. So I assumed it would be just, like, defensive with like, you know, uh, air slash fucking heat wave or something like that. But um, he does just bring simple beam whirlwind or whatever it was. So uh, we take those, dude. So like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Definitely check out Trog. I've realized I haven't been saying to check out my opponents. And that's just because I'm fucking dumb. It's not because I don't want you to check them out, dude. So since I got the face cam on, I got a ring light in the background. I might as well do the full YouTuber thing, right? Check out Trog. He's a funny dude. I think he's drunk right now, and that might have explained a few things that happened. So definitely check out his side and see uh, all the all the, all the the shenanigans, dude. So like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye forever. So